Today we go to Monaco, the playground of the rich and famous, and home to a restaurant for today, Le Louis the 15th. It's located inside the Hotel de Paris in the entertainment district of Monte Carlo. The hotel opened in 1864 and has been entertaining guests for more than 150 years. They have every service under the sun. They will even pick you up at the nearby airport with a helicopter for 1,500 euros. The casino is also world famous. You might recognize it from films like Iron Man 2 and Goldeneye. Le Louis takes fine dining to a new level. It's named after King Louis XV of France, who was known for his love of food and luxury. They spared no expense and the restaurant opened in 1987. Everything is dripping in luxury. The fresco on the ceiling, the chandeliers, the gold leaf. And downstairs, there are 400,000 bottles of wine. The cooking style is classic French cuisine, thanks to chef Alain Ducasse. So who is Alain Ducasse? He was born in 1956 in France. He got his education in culinary arts and at age 24 was awarded his first Michelin star. He was well on his way. Then in 1984, a disaster nearly cost him his life. He was on a private jet with some members of his team, flying over the Alps. They hit a patch of bad weather and crashed into the face of the mountain. Dukas was the sole survivor. He was badly injured, but he was alive. From his hospital bed, he went back to work, creating recipes, writing menus, and managing his restaurant. He was unstoppable. In 1986, the Prince of Monaco offered young Alan Ducas a job, head chef at his brand new restaurant, the Louis XV. But the position came with a challenge. Get three Michelin stars within four years. It took him just 33 months. Today, Ducas is the second most decorated chef of all time, with 21 Michelin stars. He seems to have done it all including a special menu for the International Space Station, making him one chef whose cooking truly is out of this world. We step in the door and wow, take your breath away. The space is absolutely huge. Now I know why it's called Le Louis. It was designed for a king. I have to say I have been here before, in 2019 and was not for me. It was a bit boring and old-fashioned. We are greeted warmly and shown to our table. The champagne trolley comes around and they have a great selection. I go for a glass of Beret and Sons. We decide on the six-course tasting menu for 380 euros. The first thing to the table was flatbread with mushrooms baked in. They were super crunchy with a nutty flavor. I really liked it. Our appetizer shows us the colors along the Riviera. The amisbouche is lightly smoked sashimi from four different fish cut fresh that day. The service is dramatic. Everyone and everything is treated as if they are the most important in the world. Here you can experience what it's like to be Royalty. The first course is shrimp with rockfish jelly covered in gold caviar. They say if you are going to serve caviar, use a big spoon. The chefs at Le Louis were listening. It's a tremendous opening course. Our next course is zebra squash with sea anemone. Anemone are also known as the flowers of the sea but they are most famous as protectors of the clownfish, who are immune to their poisonous tentacles. The cooking process makes them safe for us to eat. They have an intense seafood flavor, offset nicely by the squash. The eating tools here are playful, interesting and luxurious. Our next course is blue lobster over a wood fire. The sweet, Smoky flavor is mouth-watering to think about. One of my favorites of the day. Suddenly, we are invited to tour the kitchen. It is massive and buzzing with excitement. We get to meet chef Emmanuel Pilon. He is super friendly 
and generous with his time. He puts the final touches on our next course. Cuttlefish sliced razor thin with porcini mushrooms and ink juice. This dish has rich, complex flavors and we eat right there in the kitchen. It feels spontaneous, but I'm sure it's all part of the plan. We get back for our main course. Wheel with green cabbage, crushed citron and anchovy. The wheel is free range, ultra tender and cooked to perfection. They find a beautiful balance of sweet, salty, sour and bitter. The pre-dessert is a green apple and mint granita. It's a frozen dessert from Italy and here it is absolutely perfect. No meal would be complete without the cheese trolley. Of course, these are some of the best and most expensive cheeses in the world. It's always nice to make your own selection. The next dish looks delicious, but it's not for eating. It's actually rose petal infused water for cleaning our hands. Royal treatment once again. We tried two desserts. One is a rum baba with a choice of rum. I loved dramatic presentation. Other is pear in three ways. Slices, in a souffle and a sorbet. Irresistible. After the meal, we go out to the terrace to enjoy the sights and sounds of Monte Carlo at night. The waiter was so kind to bring the perifors out to us. It was a perfect end to a delightful experience. For the drinks, the wine menu is huge. Remember, they have 400,000 bottles. I let the sommelier do his job and select wines to go with each course. With the sashimi, a lovely Chardonnay, a 2017 Premier Cru from the Santa Bell region in France. With the squash and the sea anemone, another wonderful Chardonnay, a Sachin Rocher 2019. With the lobster, a nice Pinot from 2016. With the main course, a Carignan from south of France. A good match with the wheel. The sommelier was highly skilled and the wine pairing worked really nicely for its price. At the end of the day, the total for two came to 1,007 euros. And now my final thoughts on Le Louis the 15th. The design is unreal. It's a palace of pure luxury. The walls, the ceiling, all the special utensils. I love it. The service was great. They really know how to make you feel important. I like the perfect mirror service. Elegant and professional, but kind and generous. I had a great meal. Since my last visit, the kitchen has grown in exciting new directions. They have kept the traditional French cuisine, but added a twist, like the fermented vegetables and the sashimi. Besides the chef, I would like to highlight another gentleman, the head waiter. He was like a conductor, organizing everything brilliantly. It must be challenging to maintain perfection in this massive place. For me, Le Louis XV redeemed itself today. Here you can experience what it's like to be king. Thank you for joining me. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button. See you next time. You can call me stupid.